Today let us discuss number system. We are familiar with decimal number system, is it not? Can you tell me what are the digits in the decimal number system? Yes. 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. up to 9. That is our decimal number system where you have how many numbers are there? There are 10 numbers, right? So the base is 10. It consists of 10 numbers in total from 0 to 9. That is our decimal system. Then other number systems are there like binary system. You, you might have heard about bin binary system. It consists of 0 and 1. Then there is octal and hexadecimal systems which we will be learning later on. So in general we can broadly classify the number systems into two. One is called positional number system and the other is non-positional number system. Non-positional number system, for example, you have Roman number system. You know the Roman numbers. I have written down the Roman numbers from say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and so on. You know. But uh, if you look at these Roman numbers, depending upon the position of the elements here, it does not have any particular value. That is why it is called non-positional number system. There is a drawback of this non-positional number system. It is not very convenient because when we are dealing with large computations in your uh, computers, calculators, etc. And when you have lengthy arithmetic to do, this becomes difficult. So we have to choose a number system which is depending upon the position. So we have to go for positional number system. Our decimal number system is a positional number system. Uh, you know different, suppose you say 10. The, depending upon the position of 1 in 10, its value is different. It is not having value 1, it is having value 10. If you take 100, 1 is in the 100th position. So depending upon the position of that digit 1, its value changes. That is positional number system. So some of the features of positional number systems. It should contain certain number of distinct digits. For example, if you have taken the decimal number system, it has got how many numbers? 10 numbers are there. So this 10 numbers will constitute the whole of the digital number system. And its base is 10. So a positional number system has got a fixed or certain number of distinct digits and it has got a particular base. For example, 10 for the case of a decimal system. Then the next feature is value of the digit depends upon the position. That means there is a weight for each position. Suppose I write a number. This is 1357. Each digit has got a different position. Here the 1 is having value 1 into 10 raised to 3. Is it not? 1 is in the 1000th position. So the value of this 1 is 1000. Plus, what is the value of 3? Yes, 3 into 10 raised to 2. Then you have the next digit plus 5 into 10 raised to 1 plus 7 into 10 raised to 0. So this will be 1, 3, 5, 7. So each number has got a position and there is a weightage for each position. This position has got weightage 10 raised to 0. This is having weightage 10 raised to 1. This is having weight 10 raised to 2 and this is having weight 10 raised to 3. <coughs> so this is the um, peculiarity of the positional number system. According to the position it has got a particular weight or value. It is not the independent individual value of 1, 3 or 5, 7 but depending upon the position its value changes. That is one feature of the positional number system. Then if you 
you want to convert from say digital decimal system to binary system there is a particular format or binary to decimal there is a particular format that means there is a method for converting from one system to another that is one feature of the positional number system there is a particular method by which you can do then there is a systematic method of doing arithmetic doing arithmetic whether you are adding subtracting etc there is a method followed in the positional number system you know how to add two numbers suppose you are have adding in decimal system you know how to add it 1 plus 9 it goes to the next position 0 over here and 1 goes here 1 plus 9 is 10 then you have to that means 10 means 1 goes to the next position here you will be adding these two together to get the values but so there is a definite pattern by which you can add numbers. Similarly for the other number systems which are positional number systems like the binary, hexadecimal, etc. There is a particular method or a systematic way of doing the arithmetic. So did you understand what is meant by a positional number system? In digital devices like uh, calculators and computers, we are using binary number system. We cannot use uh, decimal system there because many of the circuitry is designed in such a way that it should operate in the binary because the binary is represented by 0 and 1. Two digits will be there in binary, 0 and 1. And the 0 and 1 can be represented by an on state or off state. So it is designed in such a manner that if it is 0, it can be off. If it is 1, it is on. So based on these two logic, you can design switches. You can um, arrange in such a manner that the binary is incorporated in calculators and computers. So that is the significance of binary numbers. In uh, binary number, each of this number, 0, 1, it is called the binary digit or bit. One single unit is called bit. If I combine four such units together, that means four bits are there, four bits together will form a nibble. If I have eight bits in a number, it will form two nibble or one byte. Sixteen bits or two bytes will form a word. Thirty-two bits will give a double word. The example I can show you like this. I have simply written down. I am not giving the value right now. I sim have simply written down some binary numbers. 0, 0. Every number will be represented using 0 and 1 only. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So this is being repeated 4 times here. This one single unit is, that means this 1 is a bit. This 0 is also another bit. This one is another bit. It is called binary digit. Binary digit. That is why B I T bit. Okay. So this is a binary digit. Now, if you have this is a combination of four bits, four single units are there. Such four units together is called a nibble. If I have two such units. That means I have two nibble or eight bit. One nibble is four, four units are there. So this is an eight bits are there. That will form a byte. It is called a byte. Eight elements are there. It is called a byte. If I have 16 elements, that means 16 bits are there. I will be having two bytes or it is called a word. Now if there are 32 bits, just look at here 4 plus 4 8 like that how many 8 into 1 2 1 2 3 4 8 4 are 32 so 32 bits are here it corresponds to a double word so this is how you represent you call these numbers a single unit is a bit four such units together is a byte eight of them 
four such unit is visible, sorry, eight such unit is a byte. You have 16 units, it's a word, 32 becomes a double word. Okay. So I just told you how you represent or call these numbers together. Now let us see what is the value of the numbers in binary. Just like you have 1, 2, 3, how you represent that. Using 0 and 1 itself, we will be representing all the numbers. So what I am going to do right now is, I will write down the decimal number and corresponding binary number. This is the decimal. Here I am writing binary. Decimal numbers. 0, 0, 1, 1. 0 is 0 for binary. 1 is 1 itself. Then you have 2. For 2, I have, well, how I will write in binary? In the case of decimal, what do you do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For the next digit, what, what will you do? You go to the first one. Is it not? 9 plus 1, 10. How will you write? Take the first one, then you 1 here. Is it not? <coughs> Similarly, how will you write number 2? In the first place, 0 will come. In the second place, 1 will come. Is it not? This is 2. Binary 2. Then 3. I have to add 1 here. Is it not? So if I add 1 here, it will be 1. Here 1 itself. So this is binary 3. What about binary 4? I have to add 1 more. When I add 1 more, 1 plus 1. 0. Again 1 plus 1 here. So this is binary 4, is it not? The place is shifting, just like you did here, it will shift. What about 5? I am adding 1 here, 1 can take position over here, this is 5. Now you write down up to 10, you make a triangle. This is 6 and for 7, this is 7. 8, this is 8, for 9 I have to add one more and 10, again one more I will add means 0, 1, 0, 1, this is corresponding to 10. So right, uh, like this you can keep on writing the binary numbers, did you get it? Corresponding to 0, it is 0. 1 is 0. 2 means you have to add. We have only 0 and 1 here. You are adding 1 more here. When you add 1 more, 1 plus 1. In that position, 0 comes and 1 will shift to the next position. Then keep adding 1 more. 0 plus 1 is 1. Here 1 plus 0 is 1. Like that, you can keep on writing. When you have many numbers being represented simultaneously, suppose it is decimal, binary, etc. In that case, you will be specified whether that particular number is decimal or binary. How? Suppose you are given, this is the number given. But if, if it is a decimal, it should be given like this. And if it is binary, it should be given like this. Base is shown here. This represents, it is in the decimal system. It has got value 100. In the decimal, this is 100. But in binary, what is the value? In binary, the value of this digit is 4. Clear? Now, we will write down a binary number and find out what is its value.
I'm going to write down the binary number. See, this is the binary number. How will you find out the value? If it was a decimal number, say 1, 2, 3, 4, if I'm writing, the value of this is, I have to take the position. This is base 10, right? 10 raised to 0, 10 raised to 1, 10 raised to 2, 10 raised to 3. So the value of this number is 1 into 10 raised to 3 plus 2 into 10 raised to 2 plus 3 into 10 raised to 1 plus 4 into 10 raised to 0. So this is how we found the value of this decimal. Similarly, here, this is having 2 raised to 0 because 2 is the base over here. This is a bi binary number. 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3. So this will be, in a similar manner you can do here, 1 into 2 raised to 3 plus 0 into 2 raised to 2 plus 1 into 2 raised to 1 plus 0 into 2 raised to 0. So please calculate what is the value. 1 into 2 raised to 3 is 8 plus this is 0 plus 2 plus 2 raised to 0 is how much? Into 0. So it is definitely 0. So this is 8 plus 2, 10. You can check you have already written what is the value for binary for 10. It is the same, is it not? Like this you can convert. You please try this number. Try to make binary conversion. This will be how much? 1 into 2 raised to 3 plus 1 into 2 raised to 2 plus 0 into 2 raised, 2 raised to 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to 0. So this will be 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 2 raised to 0 is 1. So I will have plus 1 over here. So this will be 8 plus 4, 12 plus 1. Sorry, 30. Okay.